Good afternoon all. It is Justin from Basic Miniature Painting. There you go, Simpson. There you go. How are, you? How are we all today? I'm doing very, very well. And now, before we crack on with um, what I'm going to show you down, just down there, my little Hobbit collection, um, I'd just like to say a big thank you to every single person who liked, commented, and even disliked my last video, my um, rant. Um, a lot of people said it was very unlike me, but every once in a while we need to have a rant, you know, about a certain subject. And in this case, it was the canine gun dogs. <coughs> but um, I'd like to apologise for my rant. Um, I'm not going to apologise for airing my views because I believe wholeheartedly that everyone has their opinion okay it's your opinion as in that video it was my opinion but my apologies because I should have should, should have put it a different way yeah I should have instead of going this is F this is this this is this I should have put pointed out the positives and the negatives about the model okay so it should have come across a different way. It didn't, so my apologies. But I am going to use what you've all said, the likes and the dislikes and the comments you've used. I'm actually going to use these canine gun, canine gun dogs but in a very different way. Okay. I've been thinking about this since putting the video up and um, I'm going to try and convert them into sort of pet dogs for um for these do this dude yeah i'm going to use them as pets for him so whether they'll work out right oops i don't know but that's what it'll look like you've got your oops kind of like that sort of pet dog yeah so might add a few orc bits on it and I'm, I'm not sure yet I think what I might have is this guy standing next to a pile of scrap metal and the dog just coming out like he's just been made from that pile of scrap metal not sure yet but that will be a little diorama so I'm actually going to use the said models in a diorama. So many thanks to everyone, like I said, who liked and disliked the video. Um, like I said, it wasn't really me, I was just having a rant and a rave and so many thanks, apologies, and let's have a look at my Hobbit collection. Right, hello, I'm just there you go. Here we have my little hobbits. Now this is the um, all the figures that you get from the Escape from Goblin Town box set, okay? And they're all sitting there, all ready to be base coated. And um, you have at the, the front all the dwarves, just there. You want them all there? Just balance them there. You got one there, one there, one there. You got five there. Coming out. I like this one here. With the ladle and stuff, that's quite cool. And you've got all the main, you've even got Bilbo, is it Bilbo? Yeah, Bilbo Baggins, Gandalf. You've got all the dwarves, and you've even got the special limited, limited edition model of Radagast the Brown. Very nice model, very well sculpted, even got a little hedgehog, as you can see, in his arm. Is it going to focus? Let me just bring it up. Yeah, just in his arm, see a little hedgehog? Really, I like the detail on the face is superb. So I've got that one, There's a, that was the limited edition one. And these are all, like I said, these are all the dwarves you get. 
And each one, the, the good thing about these dwarves is each one is an individual and each one is going to be painted slightly different. So these are all the dwarves. And you've got at the back all the goblins. Now there's 36 of these. And the goblin captain is in there somewhere. I think it's this one here. I think that's the goblin captain. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to have a look at the box art and see which one. But there's 36 of them. And looking forward to painting them because they're, they are mainly just skin and a bit of cloth and just like accents and stuff. So looking forward to painting them. And then finally, you have in the box without all the. I won't do the um, the, the 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 scenery. That's the word. But this one, the Goblin King, is probably my favourite. It's going to be my favourite to paint. And the boils he's got, and his big belly. Might have to green stuff the um, joins. You see the join big gap. And so I'm going to have to green stuff that. So if anyone's got any advice about using green stuff, it would be muchly appreciated. But the detail on that face is like really good. I like his staff. He's got the skull on the top of the scarf. Of the staff. It's not going to focus. But that looks superb. Yeah, really liking it, even though the little strands of hair. So that's going on that base. But that is the start of my Hobbit collection. It is going to be a very good thing because I've been wanting wanting to paint Hobbit for an absolute age now. But um, that's my Hobbit collection. Well, the start of I'll I shall be. So I think we're able to do the scenery as well before I do the rest. I'll probably build the scenery but then put it over here and put some of this stuff. I've got some more stuff on my left hand side, put that away. And just work on that. Yeah, cause they're, yeah. Right, so I'm rambling. Right, thank you very much for watching. I've been Justin from Basement Painting and um you've been great. Don't forget to like, comment and and subscribe. Don't forget if you like that dislike button, hit that dislike button, just let me know why, okay? Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.